Why are the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah extremely special? Allah honored these days by taking an oath by them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, by the daybreak and by 10 nights. According to the majority of the scholars, these 10 nights refer to the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. When Allah swears an oath by something, it is an indication of its importance and benefit. These are the best days of the year. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, There are no days on which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these 10 days. The first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. The Sahaba asked, Not even jihad in the path of Allah? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa replied, Not even jihad in the path of Allah. Unless a man goes out himself for jihad, taking his wealth with him and does not return with anything from it. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, There are no better days in the sight of Allah than the ten days of Dhul Hijjah. They comprise of the day of Arafah. One of the main reasons for these days being extremely special is that they comprise of the day of Arafah. The day of Arafah is the greatest day of Hajj, the day on which sins are forgiven, souls are released from the hellfire, and du'as are readily accepted. This day is also special because it was the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon us our Ummah's greatest gift. He perfected the religion of Islam and completed his favor upon us. The Prophet said, There is no day wherein Allah sets free more slaves from hellfire than the day of Arafah. Indeed, he draws near and he then boasts about them to the angels and says, What do these slaves of mine want? They comprise of the day of Nahr, sacrifice. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, The greatest day in the sight of Allah is the day of Nahr, 10th of Dhul Hijjah, and then the day of Qarr, 11th of Dhul Hijjah. The day of Nahr is the best day due to the various rites of Hajj simultaneously occurring in it, such as the pelting of the Jamarat, shaving the head, sacrificing the animal, Tawaf and Sa'i, Similarly, non-pilgrims gather for the Salah of Eid, congratulate one another and perform Qurbani. The Prophet ﷺ would fast these days. One of the wives of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ said, The Messenger of Allah ﷺ used to fast on the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah, the day of Ashura, and three days of each month. Ibn Hajar rahimahullah said, the reason that these 10 days are so special is because all of the major acts of worship occur in them, which doesn't happen in any other days. Salah, fasting, charity, and hajj. Although it is possible to combine the first three deeds on an ordinary day, the great worship of hajj is restricted to these blessed days.